Hello, <laughs> great, great to meet you both. And yeah. congratulations on the film and your performances as well. I thought it was absolutely terrific. How did you both get involved in the film? Did you, did you have to audition? Um, so, um, a very long time ago, Sarah Gavron and Parsi, um, Lucy Pardy, the cast and directors, came to our schools to just observe, because I think at that point they were just doing some research on the film. They came to a range of different schools in East London, North London, um, and after like around six months of observing the back of our classrooms, they asked a few of us to come down to Platform Pub in North London to do some auditions. Not really auditions, but workshops, workshop style auditions. And after a very long time of workshopping with a range of different young ladies from London, the, the groups were starting to produce and they slowly turned into auditions. But the whole process was um, done in a very like unorthodox way. Um, yeah. Well, it's, it certainly worked. Kosa, had, had you done any acting before? Was it something you'd considered doing? Um, not at all. Um, it was not a career plan. I did not think uh, acting was tangible because it just was never in my head, to be honest. So all of this was a, a luck, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And... It's the first time for both of you in front of the camera. But Bucky, what was the, the most difficult thing that you had to do in front of the camera? Um, I think the most difficult thing was um, doing the more, the more emotional scenes. Um, so like the two scenes that first come to my head was the argument scene with um, Rox and Samaya and the scene where um, Emmanuel has been taken away from Rox. I think those were the most difficult scenes for me. And, and what about you, Koza? Um, yeah, it was them, the scenes where we had to be a bit more vulnerable because I feel like mostly in rocks, it's uh, such a good time with all the girls. So when we had to do um, the arguments, it was a bit difficult to be serious. <laughs> That, that argument scene, I, I've, I've got to say, I was absolutely in bits with that. It was so sad and it was, it was so moving. How did you go about creating the, the close friendship that we see on the screen? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you've stayed friends since making the film. Um, do you want to go? Should I go? Go ahead, go ahead. Um, we didn't even, firstly, me and Bookie met, literally, we just gravitated towards each other like it was as if i was talking to someone who i've been friends with for years um she's still my best friend and my sister always will be so um yeah it just happened naturally honestly what Kosa just said um it was so natural that um yeah what you saw on screen was real the friendship was definitely real and it didn't matter if i didn't know Kosa for 10 years i felt like i did so, yeah. And the friendship between the two of you is, is crucial to the film, but there's also a bigger friendship and that's that bigger group of friends. Um, I wondered as a group how much of a handful you were on set <laughs> and whether, whether Sarah Gavron, your director, actually sort of uh, had her work cut out, particularly during that food fight scene. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Come on, tell me, tell me. It, was, it wasn't meant to be as wayward as it was. <laughs> that was something that we decided. I mean, you decided because Bookie <laughs> guys were still in the scene, got ahead of herself and started dancing basically in the center. <laughs> ah, so, so Bookie's the group leader then. It's Bookie that started, <laughs> she got all the girls excited. Everyone was going to plan, and we didn't want to like get continuity all messed up because mm. it would mess up like everything so sarah said specifically don't have the food fight now but bookie decided to be a rebellion and <laughs> cause a mess literally a mess <laughs> we went nothing to deny nothing right <laughs> <laughs> um, we, we've talked about the the two sort of main friendships what, what do you think that the film actually has to say about friendship? Because that's obviously the key theme of the film. What, what would you say, Bucky? I think, 
Rox depicts female friendship in a way that's just just so true. Um, I feel like we're used to seeing female protagonists in a very um, from a male gaze, essentially. So the friendship in Rox is the friendship that I grew up watch that I grew up with. Sorry, I went to a girls' school in East London, and that's what it was for us. It was nonstop. It was amazing humor. It was it was an adventure. It was again laughter because it was just nonstop laughter for me, and that doesn't that hasn't really been depicted in film and TV. So I therefore think friendship is one of the biggest themes in rocks and. I feel like it ha it has been depicted so truthfully, and that's what really makes Rooks a good film <laughs> and, and a special one. What what would you say, Kaiser? A hundred percent. I totally agree with what Bookie said because growing up, I feel like I watched shows and movies where um, female friendships are kind of presented to be, you know, kind of they clash against each other, or there's always a male that's you know getting in between. But this is just pure female friendship, love, and literally just how it is in it. That's just how. There's nothing better than female friendships. Exactly. Exactly. To totally agree with you. Now, of course, this this is your first time. Do you think you're going to go for careers in in acting in the film industry? I've I've spoken to several actors recently who've not gone to drama school have actually taken a similar path to yourselves and I, I wondered if if you were planning to do that maybe thinking of drama school and what you think the challenges were ahead obviously apart from the ones that we're facing at the moment Bucky um I think I definitely I definitely want to continue acting I mean it was such a amazing experience in my life but I don't want I don't want to ever stop feeling that, that like I because of um, COVID and everything, the world's on pause, but I've really wanted to be on set again or be on stage again. I've been, I've been dying for it, actually. So that's something that I'm definitely going to continue. Um, yeah, I just, regarding um, like going to drama school or, um, or anything like that, I definitely, I definitely think I'm on a journey of trying to learn I feel like I'm going to be trying to learn for the rest of my life now. Like, with, like the creative industry is just nonstop learning and doing, just learning and doing. So, whatever I need to do to better my craft, I will do. And I mean, drama school is definitely an option. But because I've we from Rocks, we've created such a beautiful hub. Um, we're involved in an organisation called Bridge, which is literally a bridge for new actors, first-time actors to just bridge themselves into the industry. Because as you said before, like the position that we're in is really sticky. It's either you fall off or you just reach to the top. And Bridge is making that um, that predicament less of a, um, a sticky situation for newcom newcomers. So yeah, I'm grateful for Bridge set up by the wonderful, um, amazing people that were involved in Rocks. So yeah. And um, Kosa, are you gonna go for it as well? Yes, 100%. I'm going to go for um, acting and hopefully broaden my choices and hopefully going to writing and directing one day. Um, yeah, and I'm excited to see how we go about this now because of our new normal. I mean, the whole world has changed literally. So, yeah, I'm excited for the future. I just, really like to say that, I just wanted to say that Kosa's already a writer. Super <laughs> okay, <isn't> it? Yeah. <laughs> Well, I really look forward to, to see what you do next, but you're both fantastic in the film. Great film. Thank you Thank so you much indeed. Much. Really appreciate Thank your time. You